Hey YouTube, this is Fire Wizard 23, and welcome back to Let's Play The Magic of Shahelizad! And we're off to Chapter 2, The Desert World, a la l'art. Let's go! Now in this world, as a desert, we're going to take damage outside of towns in the desert areas because of the heat, so we'll have to be cautious of that. Curly may also attack this town. Well, there's someone named Curly. This is Malart. The dark palace where Curly lives is across the maze de desert. You guys have to say, the fellow next to me mimics me. The fellow next to me mimics me. <laughs> Running gag. Though I just realized since all the people who say, who look the same in a, in a similar screen say the same things, that really doesn't have much of an effect, effect anymore. Doesn't seem as funny now that I realize that. Defeat the demon Curly for mercy's sake. You can't get out of the Maze Desert alive. Go west, there's Maze Desert. Go east, and you reach Copanes. Zumba... Zanab and Copanas knows about Supaka. Supaka, huh? And what is a Supaka? No one but Supaka can go through the maze desert. You will consume lots of the HP outside of the town. Really? Only the flying monkey Supaka in an old myth could get out of the maze desert. The flying monkey Supaka. Alright. Do, 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 do. What is my... Okay, I actually want to pick up a carpet, as long as we're here. A couple carpets, actually. It'll make this the traveling of this game a lot easier. A couple carpets. Let's grab three. I think three is what I want. Let's grab three carpets. Again, I don't know the discounts, but the image of that he makes is actually really funny if you piss him off. Perhaps I'll show that at some point. So we want to head to the right first, because we can't get through the, the maze desert. Despite being a magician, we actually are going to want to use the scimitar. Because there's monsters here that our rod simply will just not affect. Ugh! Oh, the Vecidor Squad! So you can try to run three times, and you usually get away. There's really just no point in fighting these things. By the way, you don't consume HP when you're in those RPG battles from the heat. So don't worry about that. These little sand creatures. There we go. I'm actually looking for a specific tile. The Sunrima! Run! Though well, I probably could win this actually pretty handily, but let's just get out of here. Let's get on with things. Alright, use the magic of Oprin here. This is the magic field. A person who planted a, long, a seed a long time ago will see a great harvest. This is where we could plant the Rupia seed. See, these are the monsters that a rod really would not be that effective against. also a pain in the butt, by the way. Sand monsters! So our HP is actually, like, really, really down right now. These guys are actually really easy to defeat when they're inside the ground like this. Then you just slash your sword and you beat them. And our level goes up! Yay! We'll use Pampoo just to get our HP up. Money! Got some money. Here's the other tile I wanted. Uh, people were disappointed that I wasn't going to use the Monicum spell. I just checked my old playlist to see what the Monicum spell would do. But now the wise man of this world shall grant me the power of Raincom! <coughs> Same type. Which makes rain appear to fill the desert with grass. That is only a temporary effect, but it is useful. Ow. Be 
beat those guys. There's a summary mod. You know, let's just go ahead and fight them. I'll take Farouk and Kebabu. Here's the fight command, and I'll have Kabubu use the Bolter spell. It's weird that I have the Bolter spell, but I can't use it in battle, but Kabubu can. I don't get that, really. Yeah, we got this. A uh, Bolter 1 attacks four times, doing two damage each. Going right down the lines of enemies. And here is Copanes. Alright, let's head into the town of Copanes. Do 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 do! Welcome to Copanes! Supaka asks Zanyab. If you are the real descendant of Isfa, you will obtain the power from Archie. Did you know this? If you use the carpet, you can escape from palaces or mazes. Yes, I do. A fried, a fried monkey? I've never eaten it. Meaning you said flying monkey, she thought you said fried monkey. I wonder if the king and princesses are safe. I'm not Zinab. There's a strange robot in this room. Really? I'm Gunmecha. I'm busy translating pick pick language. Get out of here. Well, fine. Jerk. I'm Xanab. Supaka? He used to be in this world 500 years ago, but a boy named Fire was a 23 has taken him far away. Getting into the whole time weird thing. Do you know the last descendant of Isfa who came to this town? You meet Supaka 500 years in the past. Yeah, they're doing a weird time thing where they're talking about an event that I'm going to go back 500 years to get Supaka, but now they're talking about it in the future, and... I already had this discussion in the original OP. It's, it's weird. It's a weird time travel thing to get into. Listen to the people of the town. Robbers! Kill them. Ah, got hit twice when they're out, and it's hard to do that. Got him. So fighter, I'd probably nail him in one shot, but and I can't hurt them with the rod in that form, but yeah, the shot is hard because they're actually pretty quick. Pampu, do a little restoring here. And here we can use the magic of Oprin. And this, I believe, is the time door. This is the time door! Let's go back 500 years to find Supercom Alamart! Let's do it! Oh, uh, this, by the way... Oh, well, I'll explain that later. I'll explain that later when I get to it. I was about to say something about this chapter, but I'll get to that in a moment. Okay, here is Alamart 500 years in the past. That extra little sound we're hearing, these creatures are actually turning into, like, dog-like creatures after I hit them. Well, let's make sure we're all pampooed up. Also, let's cast the Defendi spell, just to let the barrier protect my body. Because when we jump in this... All my magic points restore. Let's take out the Flame Rod. Let's see these little dog-like creatures when I hit them. Gotcha! Got my scimitar. So I think it's gonna be just a lot easier to fight monsters with my scimitar than it is my rod right now. I guess that is one advantage of the fighter class that he might have an easier time with the overworld battles than a wizard would. Than the magician would. But these monsters are not excessively difficult by any means. Now we got these little plant like creatures. And we level up again! And we now know the spell of Flamo 1, which attacks all enemies with burning fire, but it costs 20 magic points to use. The Mjeldu! And we'll just go ahead and select partners for this. 
Here, I could actually use Flamo 1, but it's incredibly powerful to use in combat. And it's, it's cost so much magic points. And we can beat these guys easily enough. Ow! Punch him, Farouk! Do -do 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 -do. Mm. Okay, we want to beat those demon things as quick as possible because this guy will show up. Rats! Actually, I will go ahead and demonstrate Flamo. Flamo! I got my flame. This guy will keep following you every single screen because of that little bat creature that I made appear from fighting the bugs. Just use your rod and shoot him from a distance. And he always makes a bag of money drop, but unfortunately I'm too far away to get it. Water is dangerous, remember? Yeah, sometimes they eat you and start sapping your HP. Gotcha! Get our scimitar back out. Actually, no, I haven't demonstrated the hammer. Let's show that off. Let the stars fall! Make stars rain from the sky that destroy all enemies. And that's awesome. Oh, scimitar. We're looking for some sign of civilization here. Nice. Ah, civilization. Let's go. Let's see what these people have to say. Peek, peek, peek. What? Peek, peek, peek. And Kronya mentions that we met a translator robot in Copenhagen who was translating peek, 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 peek language. Peek, 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 peek. But I think you have to go in this room to make this make this uh, story point work. Because they are saying things that we can't understand what it is they're saying. Yet, ironically, you can use the hotel. Even though apparently he speaks regular English, or Arabian in this case, but not peek peek peek. Hmm. But that was just a good way to restore our HP, because we took actually quite a beating on the way here. There's a mosque. Peek, 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 peek. Peek, 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 peek. Hmm. Well, so the only thing to do would be to head back to Copanus back in, back in the future and get that translator robot to come with us. Let's head back to the time door. As long as we're on the way there, let's kill some monsters. The Samrima! Run! That's way too many. And they could start summoning help, and that would not be nice. We just head right here. I know there's like a bunch of different ways we can get back to the time door. Ah! Ah! Real monsters! Nice. Gotcha. Use the magic of open here. We found the secret entrance. Huzzah! Fire is 23. This is the time door. Let's go back to our time through this door. Let's do it! And I think our first order of business, since we're going to be back in the hot desert again, we'll use the carpet and head back to Copanas really quickly. Now, Nemo. The carpet. Go Panas. This way we can just avoid having to walk through the desert. Let's get inside. So, here we are back in Copanas. Let's head to that room we saw and let's go grab Gun Mecca. 
I mean, we have no guarantee that it actually come with us, but we're assuming the idea of translating pee, -pee language will be interesting. Great, translating pee, pee language? Oh, sounds fun! Let me join you! And Gun Mecha joins! He's actually pretty good in the RPG combat. He has just a fight command. He has Bolter 2, which does 3 damage to 6 enemies. He also can do a s the spell Silet, which turns him into a magic mirror that reflects magic. That's pretty cool. Let's head back to that time door. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to get back to the time door quickly. And we've rolled up again to level 8! Now the sword is far more powerful. <laughs> get rid of these. Get away from these guys. There they go. Get out of here. Kill the thieves. Now back to the magic of Oprin. Use this to find the secret entrance. Now it's time to go back to the past! Let's go back to 500 years to find Supaka. Because we still need Supaka to get through the Maze Desert to get to Curly's Palace. Curly's the next demon we will fight. But remember, we've already visited the town in this area, so let's just go to Alart! Find on a magic carpet, make sure you guys see both hooked. And let's head inside and let's start talking to these peep 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 people. Welcome to Alert! Supercom made La angry because he stole his bread. Aww. He stole his bread. Use the magic of Oprah in here. La took Supercom and locked him up somewhere. Use the magic of Oprah! Huzzah! What's here? Welcome to the Magic University. The mission fee is 50 rupees, which I take a course. Sure. Let's start the course. These both will give us something, so let's use the Libra course. Now let's start the lesson. The formation is a strategy to defeat the enemy armies. Select formation and fight. Your, pal your friends pals and creatures that you can use magical powers. Only the formation will fit the enemy's characters will work. Use the Libra formation against Pandorms and Corsos Air Squad. Remember these faces. If you meet the S-Squad, use the Libra Formation. That's all for today. Now let's start the exam. The S-Squad appeared. Select the formation best against its enemy. Uh, the Libra. Graduate your past. I wish you good luck. And I will give you the Dragoon to prove your past. Good luck. Would that take another course? We'll take the Rain Come course. What does the Rain Come spell do? Now let's start the lesson. A wise man will appear on a desert tribe 500 years later. He will give you the mag magical Rain Come. This magic will grow forth even from the dry earth. However, you can use this magic only once during the Alot Solar Eclipse, and I will give you the Stardust to prove your past lesson. Good luck. So the Dragoon's a new sword, the Stardust is a new rod. So that's awesome. And being a magician, the Stardust will be much more powerful. Again, that whole story I told in the original LP that I didn't know that the rod would actually change being a magician. I didn't know that. La is so sad. Only for his stolen bread. Yeah, I might as well just tell that story again. When I originally played this game, I didn't realize that... Oh, Last stingy. I didn't realize that I was supposed to... So because a good boy, he regrets what he did to La. That you were supposed... That a magician has uses a more powerful version of the rod, similar to a fighter having a more powerful version of a sword. And you have to do that to win these demon fights later on. I'm La. People say I'm stingy. Do you think so? No. You are nice. Oh, yes. I give you these magic boots. Tell Super Guy forgive him. He's been locked up in the South Maze. Alright, so we get magic boots just for telling that guy he's not a jerk. See, so check it out, now we can shoot these red balls, which are a little bit more powerful. Because as a fighter, I would still be shooting that one white shot that I had before. And I didn't realize that until one day I just... There's a cheat set of cheat codes you can use to look at any... Go to any chapter you want. And I came as a magician one time and just pulled out the rod, and it was a different type of shot. It's like, you gotta be kidding me. That's what I was supposed to do. I felt so stupid. Got him? Oh, but now this is much more aggressive. Very nice. Nice. Now I can just decimate these guys. Pendorms! Run! We've 
gotta run away because we're cowards. Use the magic of Oprin, Fire Wizard 23. Oprin! Let's go! This is the magic field. Unfortunately, this is not on the daily large solar eclipse. We also do not have a rupia seed. So that's a wash. Use the magic of Oprin! Okay, this has to be the maze. Alright. Time for our first maze of the game. Now, I don't want to say I'm a master of knowing where you have to go here. This actually gets pretty confusing. And we just went in a circle, so I think we actually want to go up. First rule of the game, go up. <laughs> These guys have five experience each, so do not be afraid to just mow them down for experience. It's free five experience, take it. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be. Anyone knows what the hell they're supposed to be? Please tell me. Oh, Pampoo! I'd like to conserve my bread for when I actually really need it. much better. Okay, this is where the game might pull a dick move here, because there are pitfalls. There are hidden pitfalls on that road, I'm almost positive. Here's the alert solar eclipse. I want to use rain come in the future, though, not the past, because that's where we have the desert. And what's up here? Whoopee! Laugh forgive me! Thank you! I can go with you! We now have Supica. Using our carpet, let's head back to Alart. Now that we have Supica in our possession. I like how we clearly see the partners in the interludes of the chapters, but we don't see them on that carpet, which I don't really understand. Okay. Anyway, let's head back, now that we have Supica in our possession. And the Alart Solar Eclipse is... Go, so... Air Squad! Run! Supica, admittedly, is not that handy in battle. He has just the arrow command, which is essentially the rod command, and he can use the magic of seal, which can block enemy spells. That doesn't really make him that useful in that capacity. He's probably the weakest of the RPG party members. Or probably one of the weakest. I'd have to, I actually just thought about that. There might be other party members that are weaker. Oprin! This is the time door! Let's go back to our time! Booyah! But surprisingly, Gunmecha will stay with us. Huh. Well, surprisingly, we're in the future. Surprisingly, at the same time as the Alert Solar Eclipse, let's use Rangcom! It starts raining, Fire Wizard gained energy! Yep, max, a max HP. There are now no monsters anywhere. However, for purposes of saving time, I'm out of carpet, so forget that. <laughs> but since it's the desert, we're not gonna take- It's not a desert anymore, we're not gonna take any damage, so we could just walk back to Mallard. Otherwise, I'd just use a carpet to zip back there real quick. Listen to the people of the town, cause it's so cool. Yep, no monsters, nothing. Cause somehow it raining causes monsters to stop appearing, yet we still have RPG fights. Go figure. Uh oh, oh boy. No! Run! You can usually always get away, don't worry. Alright, let's keep going. Oh! And there's still rocks! I still- I do not understand why monsters- I mean, they have the RPG fights, but why don't the- Why are the overworld monsters just dead because there's rain? I don't get that. Oh, 
This is peaceful. But we should go into Malar, because we're going to have to do some preparations. We are very low on magic, and we're going to need magic for the boss fight of this area. And it's still desert in here. I don't get that. Was there a hotel in here? There's no hotel. I'll just have to pick up some extra mushrooms. So we will need it. How may I help you? I like some mushrooms. Um, let's max out our mushroom count, which is ten. I'll get eight. Because I, t I totally don't need. Well, I can use my magic to restore my health, but. All right. Okay, now we're heading towards what is one of the only sequence break, possible sequence breaks in the entire game. A Supercal will show you the... Uh, the Maze Desert is kind of like the Lost Woods in Zelda. There's only one correct path, and Supercal is going to show you what that path is. However, one of the... The only sequence break of the entire game is you could actually walk this path without Supercal actually telling you what it is. If you already knew what it was, you could simply come to the Maze Desert and just take this path. I did not want to abuse that for the purposes of this LP, but... He is now just basically showing me exactly where you have to go. There's one other town here. Let's see what's going on. Alright, let's talk to people. Please save the great Epen! Huh? Use the magic of Open here! Use the magic of Open here! Use the magic of Open here! <laughs> Gee, I wonder if I should use the magic of Open here. <laughs> Curly has taken the great Epen. Who's Epen? Where's the any key? <laughs> See, it's down here. I like how the towns are still deserty, by the way. Oh, nope, I don't need any troopers. Now you know what I'll say, yes, use the magic of open here, too. <laughs> the Great Epen is the guardian deity of this town. Oh, so they're kind of screwed without him being here. How may I help you? I got nothing I want, so... Ah, there's a hotel. Good. The Great Epen has been waiting for you, according to Archie's article. Curly's monsters are coming here! Ah! Run away to the basement, quickly! Basement? What basement? Please come in, it's 30 rupees a night. By the way, this will also restore all the HP and MP of all your party members as well. If you've been using them in RPG fights. So we're all maxed out. Excellent. Curly's Dark Palace is close by this town. Use the magic of open here. Run away to the basement quickly. Let's head up here first. Oh, no, there's something there. Let's use open. You found the secret entrance. This is the underground town of Sudari. Ah, oh, don't scare me! There's a casino. <laughs> when you go to the palace, take many keys. I got some keys. Pound the Karibi's horn into the stone statue. You didn't buy a horn, though. Let's get refreshed at the casino. I'll show the casino later. Later at some point. In the shop. It is safe here. It is safe here. More people to talk to. The Great Epen has been waiting for you, according to Archie's article. If I was a twenty three, please save the Great Epen. Please defeat Epen with cur Curly with Epen. Okay, we're gonna go save Epen, I guess. The effect of the magic has worn off, so my ring come spell ended. Okay, looks like we're gonna go off and save the Great Epen before we go fight Curly. But Cur Epen is inside Curly's palace, so let's head out. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to take a quick little pause break to keep the video going. Oh, again, your sword is still the best thing to use here to kill, kill these crab things. And another level, level 9! A uh, quick little note about using the Supica sequence break. If you do that... Oh, use the magic over here. If you do that, please be aware of the fact that you need to be at least level 7 to fight Curly because you must have the Flamo spell. How are you going to defeat Cyberon? Let me help you with 50 rupees. Oh, thanks. It's a secret to everybody. 
So you're going to have to do some grind and get up to level 7 if you want to do that. And there are monsters inside Curly's Palace, of course, so... Here's Curly's Palace. Let's do it! First order of business, we have to find Ethan. Jump over the lava. Curly is the demon of darkness, by the way. Oh, Air Squad! Run! No! I'm a cupcake! I'm a turtle! Run! Dagnatur! No! See what I mean about them being unfair? I was just killed. By whatever the hell those things were supposed to be. Now, ahem, <clears throat> moving on. Yeah, I just freaking died. That's why those RPG battles are brutally unfair. Anyway, let's go! I attempted to run away four times and I couldn't get away! Alright. But don't worry, I have faith. Cause I gotta have faith. Ooh, I gotta have faith. I think they're supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be lava. Those little tiles, but you will take damage, so be don't touch them. Come get me, monsters! Come get me, you evil guards! Head right here. Heading up will take you to Curly. Heading right will take you to Ethan. So use Pampoo to heal up a little bit. Head up, here's the pen arm. RUN! That Gagnatorn that that other party used to kill me, by the way, that is what's known as powerful magic magic that you can use in combos. Uh, Kronya and Farouk in a party making the Cygnus formation, we could actually use that magic to try to instantly outright kill monsters. And enemies have similar magics to use against us. Oh, Fire Wizard 23, just as what Archie told me, please let me join you. I'll help you with my whistle. It can disclose Curly's true colors. We now have Epen. And it's pretty much the only story purpose of Epen. Uh, Epen has the fight command. He also has his whistle command, which can cause some random effect. And I actually forget what his last move is. He has one other move, and I can't remember what it is. I don't... Is it Bolter? I think it might be Bolter. They made some weak battle, I'll just pop him out just to see what he does. Let's head up here. Ah! Uh, monsters! Again, not horribly difficult to deal with. Let's get up to match it, max HP. Because the demon fight is coming. Stardust. This is the demon of darkness, Curly. Let's use Flamo! Which costs 20 HP every t magic points every time we use it, but we have to damage his middle part to weaken him. And use the star magic! No! Which does 20 damage. Just keep using the Blizzard of Fire, we've got to weaken him down. Might as well face him. <laughs> This is area magic, so it doesn't really matter if you're facing anyone. Got him! My whistle can reveal her true colors. I uh, incidentally, every time I went below zero magic points, it automatically used a mash that restored 50 HP. And here's the true colors of Curly. 
And this is why you absolutely must have your star dust, because your regular rods simply cannot shoot fast enough or quick enough to hit these arms, which are the weak point. This isn't really a difficult battle, it's just you gotta be fast enough. Spell of Restoration, restoring her HP. Got him! Her! She loses! Yeah, I tried to do that with the regular, like that one white blast, and it just, you can't move fast enough. And we're now level 10! And we've rescued the second princess. I'm Princess Ashilatu. Thank you very much, Fire Wizard 23. Please save my father and my little sisters. So that proves that she must be the oldest, therefore. Hey, let's hurry up! Ha, I'm faster! Could you be a little more quiet? Well, don't say so. Take it easy, it's a little rest before the fight. Fire Wizard, Fire Wizard 23, the next place is SubtleCon! And we'll go there next time on Let's Play The Magic of Shahadazad! This is Fire Wizard 23 saying take care and bye-bye for now, everybody. So long.